All right, hello, this is Jen from the Saratoga Springs Public Library. Thank you for joining our community conversations today. In each episode, we plan on introducing you to one of our local community organizations and telling you a little bit more about what they do. And today's guest is Andy Gilpin. He is the Associate Executive Director for Captain uh, Youth and Family Services. So welcome, Andy, and thank you for joining us. No, thank you very much, Jennifer. Really honored to be here. Really glad to join and talk to you a little bit about what we do at Captain and uh, share with the community what we're doing. Great. So can you start off by telling us a little bit more about what your role is in the organization and what sure. you do there? Yeah, so I'm the, uh, as mentioned, Associate Executive Director for the agency, so senior management. Uh, basically, my role is just to uh, support the amazing staff and volunteers that we have here at our agency. So do a lot of grant writing, program management, uh, looking for resources, making sure they have what they need because the real uh, stars are those people on, on the ground, you know, the, our staff, our volunteers, the people who are doing the things uh, to make sure our services uh, happen the way they need to. Um, I also do represent the agency a lot of times in different collaboratives, so we never really operate in a vacuum, so we always have different things we're doing in the community, task force, community uh, engagement, uh, you know, collaborations. We just work on so many different things with so many different great agencies, so I do a lot of representation there as well. So. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, and I have to say, we, we often will have materials from Captain and the library and try to make them available to people, and I know we've had some staff from Captain come in and help us, too, and have been really appreciative of the work as well, too. So thank you. Oh, good, good. Yeah. And so can you tell us a little bit about the mission or history of the organization? Yeah, so uh, Captain's about 42 years old. We've been around the community for a long time. Uh, for many years, we were known as Captain Youth and Family Services, but uh, about three years ago, four years ago, we uh, merged with an agency in the Burn Hills, Boston uh uh, Burn Hills Boston Lake Community. That was called uh, Burn Hills Boston Lake Community Human Services. And so now we've become Captain Community Human Services. And what we can do now um, is just serve the community in a much larger way. We have uh, everything from youth through senior services, um, and we work to get to things uh, and get people the, uh, the services they need throughout uh, all of Saratoga County and, and some of the Capital Region too. Um, so our mission is really just to support and empower people. Uh, and to lift them up, you know, to help them reach their goals of uh, personal growth and self-sufficiency. We are really about, you know, helping people through the continuum of services from crisis all the way to empowerment to really help them grow and uh, become more self-sufficient. Wow, great. And it sounds like your agency is pretty large agency on the region. It's nice to hear. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what kinds of programs or services does the agency offer for people? Well, it's really tough to probably do it all in one uh, session like this. Uh, actually, we have about 30 different programs. So if you look over the scope of the agency and what we do, we do a lot of different things. Uh, most of them will center on hunger. I think if we would if we'd branch them into different buckets or different uh, uh, focus areas, it would be hunger, homelessness, and community supports. Um, most of the time we're working with people um, through dip different things that they're facing with those issues. Um, it might be economic crisis, it could be, uh, you know, the homelessness for homeless youth, um, street outreach program, where we're actually looking for youth on the street um, and connected with that. We have some trafficking programs uh, around human trafficking, uh, our food pantry, summer meal program. There's just a lot of different things tied together there. Um, and part of that community support, we do a lot of work with senior citizens. Um, so we have a program called Care Links and Wellness Express. And what we do with those is actually, uh, do, you know, help people age in place um, to wherever they may be, um, try to support them either through friendly visits or calls or getting them to different um, places throughout the community for appointments, uh, doctor's appointments, other kinds of appointments, but really just trying to support them in age in place. Great. So what do you see as a most pressing concern right now? For now, through this uh, public health crisis, I think it really comes down to the basics, to this, really those um, situations where people have just the basic needs to be met. Um, so I think for, for Captain, what we're seeing now, it really comes down to the food insecurity, hunger issues and food, having access to food, and then also uh, the homelessness and housing. I think those are the big issues we're 
uh, addressing at this point. So, um, and that's where we see the greatest need. I mean, people who were using our food pantry before uh, need us now more than ever. Um, we have, you know, lots of new requests now too, with uh, a lot of people being laid off, reduced hours, not having as much work. Um, income is really being affected in the household. We're having lots of new requests, um, lots of new requests from seniors now who are not going out and senior citizens that really shouldn't be out there trying to expose that or not being exposed to things. So um, getting a lot of requests for deliveries too. Um, and a matter of fact, we have several food pantries that are largely volunteer run in Southern Saratoga County. A lot of them are starting to close down. Um, we just don't have the volunteer to help. So it puts more of a demand in the community right now for food resources. But luckily, we've had a huge outpouring uh, from the community. So lots of donations for a food drive. Um, Town of Cliffs and Bark was huge in helping us actually get lots of food. Uh, had about 6,000 pounds donated from an event they did. Um, they're going to do another one this weekend, which is incredible. Um, and we just had lots and lots of donations coming into that. Um, we've also been supported from the United Way and uh, the uh, Community Foundation for the Greater Capital Region. They did a COVID-19 response fund. So we were selected as an agency and funded us to help support our food pantry and new shelter. Um, so all of those things, all those uh, different ways of people coming together and helping, um, it really is around that food insecurity and that hunger, um, getting people the food and access they need for that. And housing, I mean, housing is incredibly critical right now um, with people being asked to stay at home and to be in their home and to stay away and to shelter in place in a sense. Um, if you don't have that shelter, that you are extremely vulnerable. Um, and so we're trying to work with people throughout the community and organizations who are working on this issue as well uh, to really make sure people are housed right now. It's you know critical to um, the public health emergency we're facing, but also in general, just to make sure they have somewhere safe to be. Great, thank you. Yeah. Um, so if people do need help right now, what would you say is the best way to reach out and get that help? I think it's uh, it's just really easy. You just need to call our organization uh, or go to our website. Uh, so it's uh, 518-371-1185 for the phone number. They can reach us and we'll have somebody um, there at that number and you can help people kind of navigate where they need to go. If it's not us, then we know who, who's doing what in the community right now, so we can definitely direct them to the right place. Um, and then our website's really easy to navigate and it's very up to date and current right now. So um, it's just easy to www.captaincares.org. Um, and we can, uh, you know, use, use that website to actually navigate what services are available still. We have a great list of what we're doing, what the community is doing, um, and just trying to keep as much current information there as possible so can people can use it as a resource. Wonderful. And so it sounds like people can go there, too, if they need other services to help refer them to those as well. Yeah, definitely. And there's, there's a few great partnerships out there, too, that are happening. Um, I think two places that people could also look. Um, the food pantries for the capital region, that's a great one. Right now, they have a good up-to-date website and database for where uh, food pantries are currently, you know, what their, who's open, what their hours are, what the new rules around how to use the pantry, stuff like that. So that's throughout the capital district. So that can be anywhere from Saratoga to all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a mobile food app that we helped work on with people so they can actually use their phone for that same resource. Um, just have to go to the Google Play Store or go to the uh, Apple App Store. It's free. Um, it's Food for New York in all one word. So F O O D letter or number four, and then N Y. And it'll take. And it's a super easy thing to navigate. You can see what resources, up to date information there. Um, and then there's also the Sat Southern Adirondack Network Guide and Sang. That's mm -hmm. another great place, kind of interactive. I think you guys use that as well. So. Um, and I would just say the uh, United Way and the uh, Tri-County United Way both have great service with the 211. So any of those sources can really help people find what they need. Um, but for sure, if it's captain, if it's something that you think that we could do or you want some information about where to go, you can definitely just, just give us a call. We're happy to help. Great. Um, and is there anything else that you would like to let us know about, about what's going on, your agency? Any words for our viewers? Yeah, I think it's, uh, for me really now, uh, during this crisis, it, you really get to see um, the character of your community. Mm -hmm. 
And so to see people turn out the way they have and to see staff and volunteers and everybody pitching in the way they are, it's just incredible. So huge shout out to those agencies, uh, those frontline workers, the people that are involved in this crisis day to day for what they're doing. Um, and it's just really inspiring to see that they continue to, to give back and, and are there for us um, as a community. So just want to say a huge shout out to all those people, you know, everybody from the hospital to the EMS to um, police to anybody, anybody in the front lines right now doing the work. Um, and I know for us, for Captain, our, our staff have been incredible. And uh, we're just going to continue to be there for the community as, uh, for the, as much as they need us for however long they need us. And uh, we're just going to be there for them. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your information and sure. for the time that you spent with us today. Um, so we will be posting links, as I mentioned, to some of the services that Andy talked about during this presentation, as well as links to Captain and their wonderful Sounds Like Mobile uh, Food Service, which I didn't know about. So I'm really glad that we had this conversation and I learned something too. Good, good. Thank you very much. Thank you for the time for this. This is wonderful. I'm glad we had this conversation and thank you for thinking of us. Absolutely, absolutely. And for those of you at home, um, this is one of the videos that we have where we'll be talking to different community agencies over the next couple of weeks and getting the word out about what they do. So please stay tuned for more. Visit sspl.org for more information. And we hope to see you again soon. Thank you, everybody, and stay well. Bye.